Hi everyone, today is Saturday evening, January 7th, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney, I'm the hydrologist for the National Weather Service, and we've got yet another winter storm on the way. So let's take a look. So as of Saturday evening, what we see is a high pressure right here rotating clockwise. The low pressure is rotating counterclockwise here. In the middle is an atmospheric river that's bringing copious amounts of moisture from the Hawaii area. Some call us the Pineapple Express, but nonetheless, these two weather features are producing this atmospheric river, and it's going to move into Utah, and we're going to get lots of moisture in different formats. So let's start with the northern Wasatch, shall we? And these are areas of Beaver Mountain, Powder Mountain, and Snow Basin. When we look at snow totals, and in these areas of the backcountry also, 18 to 30 inches, really quite impressive. But when you look at the snow water equivalents, 3.25 to 4.25 inches, it's going to be very dense snow. We're going to get some rain from Sunday night into Monday about noon with this. It's going to start Saturday night through the whole system, and then Monday evening it's going to end. The greatest snow intensities, though, are going to be right around Monday morning, Monday afternoon, and into uh, I'd say early afternoon on Monday at two inches per hour during that time frame. And it's kind of interesting because it starts at the valley floor, snow down to that level, and then it's going to rise to about 8,000 feet, and then it's going to descend back to the valley floor. It's going to rain sat Sunday night into Monday, roughly around Monday morning hours. And during that time is when we get the most moisture, but we're going to get the most snow when that low rotates down in and we get the cooler air and it's going to snow during that time. So when you look at this, the snow densities, they're variable, but this snow is going to be very dense. Winds start off at roughly 45 miles an hour out of the southwest at 6, 6 a.m. on Sunday, then roughly the early morning of Monday, we're going to see winds at 70 miles an hour out of the southwest. And then it's going to veer at west-southwest to west as the winds decline. But they're still going to be quite strong at gusts at 60 miles an hour uh, Monday afternoon. And then it's going to drop off. When we slide down into the central Wasatch on the front side, and these areas are Alta, Snowbird, Brighton and solitude. Snow totals of a foot to two feet. Snow water equivalent of two inches to 2.75 inches. It's going to start tonight and it's going to go through Monday evening. Greatest snow intensities Monday morning at two inches per hour. Start at the valley floor. Go back up to 8,000 feet raining below that and then back down to the valley floor at that very similar time frame. Very dense snow with rain below that. When you look at winds, 75 miles an hour, somewhere around Sunday at 6 p.m. And then about 12 a.m. Monday, we're still going to see some high winds at 65 miles an hour into Monday evening. So when you think of wind speeds, they're going to be high, and they're coming out of the southwest for the majority of this storm with a little veering of west-southwest to west as the low moves through. So some pretty significant winds with this very high-density snow. Central Wasatch backside, and we're looking at Park City, the canyons, and Deer Valley, Sundance. The snow totals are a lot less, 4 to 8 inches with 0.75 to 1.5 inches. Saturday night is when the storm begins. Storm ends Monday evening. The greatest snow intensities are Sunday morning at 1 inch per hour down to the valley floors, and they're going to do that 8,000 foot thing with rain below that back down to the very floor. Very dense snow. And, and hopefully what we're seeing on the models uh, with these low snow amounts, that we can actually get more snow out of this. But that's what we're looking at. And when I talk to the meteorologist, that's what they're looking at as far as amounts. 70 mile an hour gusts out of the southwest between Sunday 12 p.m. and Sunday at 6 p.m. And then we're going to see it decline a little bit to 60 miles an hour through Monday and then tapering off into Tuesday. The direction of the winds is southwest until we get to west-southwest and Monday evening, and then into west at that time. When we move over to the winter range, what we're seeing, and this is Windy Peak we're looking at, snow totals a foot to two feet, snow water equivalent at 1.75 to 2.55. Storm begins Saturday night 
ends Monday evening. Monday morning is when we're going to see the greatest snow intensities. Peak snowfall rates at 2 inch per hour down to the valley floor to start up to 7,000 feet, rain below that. And then as the low comes in, colder down to the valley floor. Very dense snow with variability as, it's, as this moves through. The winds up to 75 miles an hour Sunday evening out of the south-southwest. And then we're going to see them veer down and then maybe pick up a little on Tuesday, but most of the action will already be over. I think what we're seeing are winds once they hit 60 miles an hour on Sunday at 12 p.m. Sunday's going to be a windy day, south-southwest, out of west-southwest, and then west. So there you have another one. We've had multiple storms this year. As you can see, the confidence for this was high, but as we've seen in the past, the timing of these events we've been struggling with for a bit. So if you're looking at that, let's see how this one works out. Uh, but if at any time we've done these briefings, please look at the Utah Avalanche Center's website. If you're going out into the backcountry, utahavalanchecenter.org, um, they're going to have all sorts of information out and the conditions are going to change. They're going to be quite dangerous with this dense snow and rain. So please check in with them. Again, this is Brian McInerney. Until the next storm, we'll go from there.